Hello guys, this is Warrior here, and today we are starting a new series. Uh, the old one will continue. I'll have these two series going running, and they will be the only ones on the channel until I finish one of them, and then I'll probably go May at a, uh, a different game while this one finishes out. So this is the realm of Lothorian. So I was wanting to do an Elvish faction. And I was kind of torn. So there's three main ones. There's the High Elves. There's the Realm of Lothorian, which has Lady Galadriel, her husband, and uh, Hadralian? I think that's his name. Anyways, have all them. And then you also have the Woodland Realm with Legolas and King Thranduil. And I was torn between King Thranduil, or the Woodland Realm, and the Realm of Lothorian. And I eventually settled on this because I think in version 5 they're going to make the Union, which is the, uh, the Yenyar, Yavar's Union, where you can get some units of theirs, and uh, where now it is where you can get units from each faction if you choose to go that script. I think now they're going to make it to where these two are going to unite as one kingdom and then to take on uh, double door so you can usurp their lands and get their lands that'd be kind of cool but anyways moving on i didn't want to play as the high elves because there's a lot of high elf uh stuff going on right now and i've played them they're a very fun campaign they're challenging uh with the dual start but i ultimately settled for florian because well they did fix the ints and i really want to see how they play and they have some interesting units like uh, this unit right here which is a very interesting arch unit that I will be showing off in the campaign and you get ants whenever you take Isengard so we'll definitely be taking Isengard alright so um, some stuff about it I'm going to be going on hard hard uh, long campaign which is only 20 regions however it is also the destruction of Mordor which is over here so it it's gonna go a long ways most of my regions will be down here with a few going here to make sure Isengard is dealt with I won't worry about Eriador and uh, the Dunlindings or any of that and I won't worry about Rune I'm mostly focused on here here and then here to Mordor so that is my plan alrighty let's get started as always make sure to comment rate and subscribe um, I'm getting better at my videos producing them and um, yeah I tried to start a Anduin Veil vale campaign and for some reason I don't know why because I've played it in the past it kept crashing on me a lot and I'm not entirely sure if it's the region or if it's something else entirely because I've played an Anduin Veil vale campaign all the way until like turn 120 and I never had this many crashes, so I'm not entirely sure. I tried to start it, had multiple, multiple uh, videos. I think I had started it like four times, and I eventually just gave up. So, But I would love to do that area, which is just a north, because it's also a faction that isn't done very much. Alright, uh, this is just your standard stuff uh, that tells you about the... Uh, the three settlements so once you a unit or a faction is under three settlements the 15 to 20 units will spawn to stand as their last stand of the faction some have more than that so this is Gl gladium's ram basically tells you a little bit of backstory about her also tells you about uh her husband and then you have yars union so basically what you have to do is send a diplomat up here and get an alliance with them at about the turn 30 I think is whenever it kicks off so if you already have one before then that's great um, just tells you a lot uh, let's see here oh yeah unique building so you get a little hot in here all right um, practice range so this is one of the elven factions and uh, the woodland around the same way but it's one of the still factions that you have to have uh, where is it you have to have a barracks, a range, and the stables to recruit everything. Unique buildings, you get a dancing guild, which is your culture. And then you get a, once you get up to the master dancers guild, you get um, lob, uh, 
wait, who's a little? Oh yeah, two percent cultural bonus global effect, ten percent law global effect. The Warriors Guild allows you to get your top uh, rated um, weapons bonus, and you do get a blacksmith. Uh, you stop at Elven Plate, but you can get an Aldor Plate if you choose to reject the alliance. So that's kind of the trade-off there. Alrighty, so we have a very small amount of troops. However, I'm going to try and probably push north and take that region that's up there because there's a region up there. So let's get a few troops going. We need to get some money going too. Let's go Great Exchange. In here, let's go communal farm. Well, let's go communal farming across the board. That'll it's more expensive, but it'll help us out. Okay. Elven warrior, come, my brothers. You can go north. Stay alert. I'm gonna go handle that. My lord. You get over there. Approaching quietly. Go to that. Give me a diplomat. Give me those. Sire. That'll be enough to go deal with that. You mm, keep it on the list. So we're gonna go after that town to the north. If you play as Realm of Mothorian, that town does not go to the dwarves. If you play as most other factions, I think Vanyan Vale, uh The Dwarves of Khazadun and Lothlorien, that does not go to them. Any other faction, that small little town is given to them so that if they lose Khazadun East, they're not immediately wiped out and can spawn a last stand army to then retake the uh, uh, Moria. Oh, okay, them too. Perfect. Alright, you, you. Come, my brothers. For the light there. by the light of Elberon. Elves, scatter them. Put them down. Sire. There we go. Stay alert. Uh -huh. Got us a diplomat. That's good. Yes, my lord. All right, so we're already allied. Are we allied with these? Neutral. Okay. So Tomorrow's we'll journey Talk planned. To the up, my lord. Get a trade agreement going with them. Let's go see what the double door is doing. Out. So my plan is, is the diplomat to go through here and go talk to the woman around and then go talk to those two. Get trade rights and whatnot. I think I already have trade rights with uh, Rohan. But... So really, I need to defeat double door before Isengard wipes out Rohan. Because if I can do that, then me and Rohan can tag team Isengard and take them down. So my plan is, is to take Double Door, hold in the east, and then funnel troops to the west. That's my plan. Come, my brothers. So we shall see how that works. Also, uh, some custom generals. You do get some custom generals. Gladium archers, uh, which is your best, uh, not dedicated archer, but it's your best archer uh, combo, both melee and defense. Uh, he gets that starting off, and then your sire. Faction error gets. Uh, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that Elvish, but this is your overall best archer because of the melee total defense of 16, defensive skill 11, missile attack of 10. You do get an archer that has armor piercing. I'll show them later, but this just tells you what he has. So, all right, we should have a battle here pretty soon. Uh, turn three actually. We should have a battle. So if you're waiting. Hmm. Alrighty. Go, got some recruitment going. There we go. Elven warriors, follow me. Join. Reinforcements. Engage. Ah, it's my turn, my lord. You go talk to what this. What is it you wish to discuss? 
see if they'll do the right. It's good to see we can there we meet go. again, my lord. I have no quarrel with the men of the veil. We'll yes, be fighting some of the same enemies I would. As be. you wish. Stopping here. There we go. Right. My lord. You stay there, you stay there. By the light of Elbereth! I'll recruit some troops, okay. Elves! The next turn we will take the city and then I'm gonna leave just one garrison. Also, some things about elves. They all have very slow recruitment, no matter what they are. Uh, I even think the ones in the east with the Dorinian campaign, when you have that choice, they are very slow recruitment. Uh, when I mean very slow, I mean very slow recruitment. Um, glacier sometimes, it feels like. So you don't get your troops very often, and you have to make them. full advantage of your archer superiority. Okay, so... Should I wait for them to sally out, or let them defend the town square? Let them Send defend them the town square. So by doing this, uh, typically if I had more hold the line units, I'd let them sally out against me, break them, they break in. But with this, they're going to defend the town square. So. I form up with my archers, I have longer range, shell them into oblivion, and then move in with my sword and shields. Or not sword and shield. With my uh Ooh, infantry unit. So I'm going to attack from this direction. A greater area of control. Hmm. A bit different there. Interesting. Uh, we go there. You will form my flank. You go there. You go there. Oh, that's because I'm on the back side of this. Did not mean to do that. Okay. Um. Oh, that's fine. We'll just shower them with arrows. Also, if you notice, you get the light of a labyrinth. And this you get swiftness. This is your F, which I think grants you increased speed and also some other stuff. So I'll check out his ability when we get to the campaign map. These are your probably some of the best archers in the entire game. Really the Noldor are probably the only ones who are better. Well no, they're not better. Actually they have a worse melee uh, missile attack. That's kinda how they separate these elves is that the um the Woodland and Lothlorien elves are better archers, which I think in the books it's actually the other way around. And the Noldor are better overall, you know, sword and spearmen and stuff like that, and the Sindar. Because these elves are not Sindar elves, they are Sylvan elves ruled over, or Noldor elves, sorry, Noldor elves, not Noldor. Nandu elves and Sylvan, or otherwise known as Sylvan elves, who are ruled over by Sindar elves. That's it. So we're just going to shower these guys with arrows. They will return fire, but we'll take minimum casualties. And this is the advantage of the elves Archer Superior. So really, you just want to sit back and skirmish with them, because you'll win. Where are their... Where are they? I'm trying to find them. Already killed 23% of them and have lost any troops. Oh, lost one. Oops. Hmm. Alright, let's go. Fast forward that because this is just going to be a lot of me shooting them. The arrows. Until we're out of arrows. Only half the enemy force remains. With this, you really have to minimize your casualties and pick and choose when you're going to send in your archers. Um, that's how you. 
really win these campaigns. Protect those suspects. Gonna sally out, we're gonna share them with arrows. Come on. That's not gonna end well for y'all. Come on, bring him down. Come on. Quite well, actually. Doing really well, actually. Haven't lost too many troops. Lost two percent. Shooting them with arrows and kill their general. Okay, so they're basically useless. Not useless, they're basically dead. Kill those trackers. Our men have slain the there we go. General. Took a lot of arrows to bring him down. Lose their will to fight. Should be nothing more than pin cushions in the line. <laughs> Send in my elite troops to handle this. I shouldn't lose any troops on these troops. I shouldn't. How many troops I got? Oh, yeah. Should be a kick off. Our men, men no longer command the city. If we continue it. like this, we will smash the enemy. We look really good. So I just glitched out there. Come on, kill these guys, cut these in the process. It's a 33 defense for you. Slow it down. Come on, kill them. Look how they had the, the, the horn from the movie. This is a clear victory! There we go. Oh, no. Come on. Their victory. 11 lost. That's what I like to see. Mostly in my uh, other troops. But we minimize casualties. If I would have just sent in my troops, we would have lost a lot more. So that's the reason why we do this. And your early game units, you're going to use them. Because like, your early, your early game uh, elven units are better than most... Um, uh, factions mid-tier units. You really get intermediate units right at the beginning. Because a six archer is better than most teams or most teams, most factions uh, top tier. There we go. There we go. So what I want to do is get a dirt path there. By the light of Come, you. my brothers. Come back. By the you. light of Elberth. You go there. Follow me. What I'll do is take these units and either take Rockburg or take this castle. Probably take the castle. And hopefully Dolgor Thor does not assault me. That is. Bellsman can keep him occupied for a while. Eventually, Dale will go after Dolgor Thor. They're pulling troops away. I haven't seen any troops to take that settlement that's just to the southwest yet, which is good. <sighs> okay. So they're attacking there. My lord. That's fine. Without question. Go talk to As you there. wish. I shall continue tomorrow. 
Alrighty. Come, my brothers. Go there. Yes, my lord. Elves. By the light of Elbereth. Scout the area. For the light. Onward. Form up. Oh, you're not gonna rebel. We'll go there. Okay, well. Once I get dirt paths in, that'll be way out like a lot of money. So I need to butt up against Roha to make me. more money. Um, so yes, my you, lord. you, you. Elves. Swiftly, my lord. Sire. Onward. Me. Elves. We you must stay there. The light. You elves. Because we're gonna push here and seize Rockburg, and then that. Will give me a border with Rohan. Allow me to trade with Rohan more effectively. Hopefully they do. Okay, so they're gathering up forces at Double Door. That's fine. There we go. Losing a little money. Follow but me, all right. Elven warriors. Reinforcements, sire. You push south. Like the wind. Can't be afraid to lose some money because you are. Your orders. Let me see here. Always happy to deal with you, trusted friends. If I can stem the bleeding just a little bit. Still cheating. No, we cannot. A good day to you. Okay, yes. Go there. Follow me. The rock bird is like Onward. Right there, I think. I'll probably end it by taking a rock bird. That would be a good place to end it. So that's going to take longer than what you think to take it. I'm about to get down there. It's going to take a few turns just to get down there. Hopefully I don't rack up a bunch of debt in the process. Like the wind. That is. Order is complete. Hmm. Um, good relations. Yes, my lord. Which is Without question. As you there, wish. Yeah, what is it you wish to discuss? It's good to see we. Well, that seemed fruitful. Farewell. Without question. Go to Dale. Stopping here. Tomorrow's journey planned out. That should give me a little bit of money. Ooh. And a negative four. Hold up. Put in a normal tax rate. Oh, positive seventy-two. Breaking the bank, let me tell you. Breaking that bank, okay. You stay there. Come, my brothers! The elves, you can make money, but you mainly do it through trade and by building up your cities. Not particularly great miners, not fantastic at trading. So, what you shine in. It is over is your forces. Oh, just better than everybody else. Scout the area. Elves, uh, we must give up the road. They just took it. Okay, well, stay we'll alert. There. Very good. So we need to try and get a. Elves, we must give up ah, the road. We're allied with them. Okay, so we start allied with Rohan. That's right. Double check that. Yeah, so we're allied with them. And them. Okay, so Rohan and Doors of Cousin do need to get in. Well, enemies of Double Door. Okay. By the light of Elbereth! Let's go take the Order's completed. castle. That's Stay away. alert! My lord. Approaching. They have not pushed on there. That's good. That's really good. Okay. Uh oh. You're trapped. Talk to Doors of Elbereth. So I'll go talk to them first, and then go talk to Dale for the whole issue. Yeah, it's always cut out for some reason. It's interesting. Alrighty. Yes, my lord. 
as you wish. Yes, I shall continue tomorrow. <laughs> so very good now. It's comical. Absolutely comical. My lord. Alrighty. Follow me. Onward. Stay alert. Yeah, go there. Order's completed. Where's this right here? We'll take that. Pull back some troops. Get some free upkeep, and then try and get our money situation handled. Should be able to do that. Should be able to talk to the doors of Erebor next turn. This is going to be in stark contrast to the Breed campaign. Because the Breed campaign, you can get troops from everywhere. And you have a bunch of units. And I think that's what really helps out some of these factions. Uh, and Elven factions kind of suffer. Is that you get to a point to where you really just don't have a lot of units in their rosters. And By the light of I'm not entirely Come sure here, that's just because Take it for the elves. there's not much is known about them. Uh, or there's probably a lot known about them, but Your orders. there's just not that As much, you, wish. you know, what is it you wish to units out there, and they may need some. This seems quite a well, uh, Good day. They might need some uh, fleshing out of their rosters. Just Come give them more intermediate units, or allow them to be um, draw upon local human. You know, in the area might help out a bunch because there's no reason why elves wouldn't be able to, especially the high elves, they wouldn't be able to recruit any Dunedain troops on their roster. Um, or the Sylvan elves, why they can't recruit Palesmen, especially the foresters and stuff like that. Why wouldn't they come to the aid of, you know, the Florian elves and just stuff like that? Kingdom of Dale, alright. Yes, my lord. You have a proposition for us? Yep. This seems quite very well, then. We get wardens. Alright. You? Yes. Stopping here. We'll I shall to continue tomorrow. See exactly. Sire, assail them! Destroy it! Have your Only weapons ready, elves. Okay. Ah, Captain Grimble. It's just a little late. This is our castle. The problem is, is taking the village on the other side of the river is going to be problematic, at the very least. Oof. It's slower and By the light of Elberth! Scatter them! What do they have? All orcs. For which we could easily wreck them. Alright. May let them sally out against me. Approaching that would help quietly. minimize casualties. Yes, Slow my down. lord. But it minimizes As casualties for sure. Stopping here. Hmm. Ooh, are they going to assist them? It would be nice if they did. Uh, they are gathering a force to attack. I'm not entirely sure where they're going, but they're definitely marshaling the forces to attack. Ah, there we go. Get a little bit out of debt. <laughs> the Dark Lord. Come, my brother. He's outstanding. Engage. They're not. Okay, uh, we're just gonna hold here. See what they do. Really don't care to assault a fortress if I can't help it. I know it's kind of boring, there's only been one battle this episode. But we'll definitely end it with this battle. So I'll keep going until this battle is over. Which we're at 30 minutes, so I'm at a 10. 15. Ooh, we just made a big profit. I think that was the that was the gift. Okay. I think we're slowly gaining some more population, so we can make a little bit more money, like here. I think that's mostly trade. 
Yep, that's true. And then we need to get in a artisan studio. Next thing that we need to build is a builder's hall. Multiple builders are actually. Elves, assail them. Mm. I'm just gonna lose too much troops if I assault. The towers will do so much damage to me. It's just better just to wait for them to sally out against me and then crush them. It's the best way to do it. I don't know if to the door to them. Not entirely sure, and it's a bit concerning. Ah, uh, there. Might be able to do that. Is it one more turn? By the light of Elbereth! Just one more turn. Okay. They will sally out against me, and then we will end the video there after the battle. There's nothing to be scared about, it's just the wolves that are scary. Even poor units can cause a lot of destruction to my units. Uh, and mainly it's the towers that's concerning. We protect the Elven lands. Oh! Claim it for the free peoples! I didn't even sally out. Okay. Uh, sure. That works. Bloodless siege. Well, Elves, follow me. You like the wind. Elves, Fall back. we must give up the road. You, my lord. My lord. I believe for the centuries we one wanderer. Elven warriors, Listen. onward! Elves. Alrighty. Well, I guess I'm gonna end the battle here. Um, there's not much I can do. Uh, there won't be any more battles, so I'm basically just gonna take By this force and get them back here and get them some free upkeep. So you know what? We'll burn through two more turns. to cover huh we're doing quite well here actually Hmm. Elves! Over here, elves! Right. Come, my brother! Follow me! You go Onward. there. By the light of Elbereth! You three will go there and get some free upkeep. I better start turning around this deficit that we're running. Follow me. Over here, elves. Go there. Come, my brother. And there. That'll turn that around. Get some money flowing into the coffers. Chip away at that. And yeah, so I'm gonna wrap the video up there. 
Um, I'm going to wrap the video up right here. I hope you have a good rest of your day. As always, remember to comment, comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you.